guys, in this lecture, we're going to be doing optical character recognition. Okay, so first load up the two data sets, which can be found in the resource section of this lecture. And then what we're first going to do is we're going to make it grayscale using plain extraction, and then you can use any one of these. And then we're going to OCR or OCV. And then if we select all of this, you can see it gives a lot of question marks. That's because it hasn't been trained. So we go to open and we click on that text of brown. This is the training set. And this is what it's been trained with. So I basically did some prior training for it. And then it gives you some of these characters. Now, this may not be perfect. You'll need a large training set and a robust one for it to output the correct characters. So let's just see if we can edit this. Okay, so this is how you train the characters. So over here, it's not given the correct one. So we want to train the incorrect character. So we've got text to read, which is saying I, but it's not I, it's actually capital E. And then click train, and then that will change. So let's see what else is wrong in this picture. Okay, so I think this should be more or less fine. That's how we train. Now, if you go to edit character set file, over here, you can see all the alphabets that I've trained, and they are in alphabetical order. And if you want to see each uh, alphabet, you can go over here and see which one is not correct. So this one you can delete and see what happens. Okay, so we just click save and exit. And then let's see what happens. Okay, so everything should be fine. And some of the things that you can adjust is threshold, size, read options. Okay, click OK. And then you can see over here, if you want to copy the text, you can just copy it straight from there. Now, we're still getting some problems. Let's go to, we can change the mode to local background. This question mark changed into an L. Let's go to our other data set, which may not be such an ideal data set. So over here, I trained this data set. Let's ignore this one. And let's go ahead and train this quickly. Go to edit character set. And we see, we look for the question marks. And then we see that this one's joint and this one's a joint as well. Like this, for example. That is one of the flaws with this algorithm, but it takes a lot of practice to get this correct. So you have to play around with the spacings to get them correct. So this one is detecting as two characters. Okay, so let's see how we can make this better. Most of the problems come from the thresholding. A dark and light text. Let's see if we change this to nonlinear, what happens. And from here, you can see that we have the alphabets well segmented, except for some exceptions. Let's just go to train, add a character file, we change the thresholding. We can use linear for now. Let's just save this one. And that one we put as work. And then we put train. And then that changes that word into the proper string. And then you can go ahead and do the same for the rest of the characters. I'm not going to cover the rest in this lecture because it can get quite tedious. Okay, so let's move on to something else. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some of LabVIEW's examples. So go into LabVIEW 2015 and go to Help, Find Examples. And over here, you can find all the examples that you require, such as tracking, segmentation, feature correspondence, OCR, barcode, reading whatever you look require. So let's search for OCR, search, and double click on that VI. And this will basically open LabVIEW's example. Press play, and here you can change the delay, and then this thing is reading most of it quite fast. But obviously the set is trained and there's no, it is trained to read those certain characters. You can speed them up or slow it down. So what this thing is doing is basically collecting the data set. It's passing it through and then it's passing a optical re recognition file. This also contains your images. So this here creates a new OCR session and loads the character set file. And then this vision assistant acquires the relevant images and it passes it through to read the text in image. And then we overlay the position of the characters using this block here, set out delay. And then this basically discards our session. Okay, so thank you for watching this lecture. I hope it helped you learn about 
optical character recognition and basically you need your your training set to be robust in order to detect your data set robustly okay thank you for watching i'll see you in the next lecture